So it's good to see everyone. Uh, we're here doing a special video today. Uh, I'm joined with a friend, uh, but just a quick introduction. My name is Craig Ishii. I'm part of the B2B product marketing team here at Logitech. And John, tell us about yourself. All right. Thanks for having me, Craig. Uh, hello, everyone. John Stearns here from Zoom, and I lead our international Zoom rooms and Zoom spaces business, uh, as well as our go-to-market strategy for all of our Zoom rooms. Uh, so I appreciate the opportunity to be here. And uh, this is a topic that's very passionate to me. Okay, so today we're going to talk about Interop. We've talked about Zoom rooms before. We've talked about different features here and there from a little bit of a preview here from BYOD mode to enabling ad hoc Interop. But today we're going to talk about all of it. And so the topic of today's session is two and a half ways to enable Interop in a Zoom room. And so we're going to talk through all the different ways to do that. Now, um, what is Interop? We're going to start with that. Well, we get a lot of folks who are standardized on Zoom rooms. So, you know, they're able to go into a meeting room, use the one touch join, and they're right there in that Zoom meeting. But occasionally you have those customers saying, hey, I've, I've actually got a meeting on Google Meet today, or I've got a meeting on WebEx or Microsoft Teams. How can I have the flexibility with my Zoom room to be able to do that and provide that for my end users as well? So that is going to be today's topic, Interop. And John. Let's start with software first. Zoom has a number of different features that you've enabled um, that are both for scheduled meetings, as well as ad hoc meetings. Tell us about Zoom Interop from a software standpoint. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So interop, interoperability um, is super important on the room side. So unlike our phones and our laptops, where we can load multiple meeting applications and have all of those available when we need to join a different platform, that's not necessarily the case in rooms. So when a system is set up as a Zoom room, that's sort of the home base, right? Uh, and then we built in into the software and into the actual platform, the ability for that room, even though it's set up as a native Zoom room, to join all the major meeting platforms that we've talked about there. And that's an out of the box feature. So that doesn't require any sort of uh, interoperability services or gateways or anything like that. So it's a core feature of the Zoom room that allows uh, users to join into those other platforms in two pretty simple ways. The first one is if the system, if the Zoom room system is set up with calendar uh, integration, which we always recommend, then the system will automatically recognize which meeting platform this upcoming meeting will be whether it's you know, all the ones we talked about, Zoom, Teams, you know, Google Meet, WebEx, et cetera, um, that the system would recognize that and still scrape the appropriate meeting join information. So on the Zoom room controller, there's that simple, consistent join meeting button. It's a one-touch join experience for those scheduled meetings. Um, so that, that's the, the kind of preferred way. But we also recognize you know, in, the, in the modern hybrid work world, um, you know, people might not have planned ahead to join from a meeting room and there's a lot of ad hoc meetings, uh, meaning, you know, just on the fly, you need to jump into a platform. So we've enabled the join by meeting ID functionality directly from the Zoom room. And we took it a step further where we allow, if customers want to enable this, they could actually place, a, you know, a Google Meet, a WebEx, or a Teams icon right on the home screen of the Zoom room controller to, to make it even easier for those uh, ad hoc join experiences. So as a user, I walk in the room, if I need to join into a Google Meet, for example, tap the Google Meet icon, and then I will you know, just enter the uh, meeting ID and passcode if there is one, and I am in you know, that, that room. So we support, again, both the scheduled, easy, one-touch join, as well as the ad hoc on the fly join experience to all these platforms. Awesome. And so I think for customers, we always promote that as sort of the first option and the, and, the, and the thing that you start with. So we always say start with Zoom software. It's very easy to just put it on your media controller. You just have to enable a few settings on the back end and you've got you've got your stuff ready to go. But occasionally we also get some customers that are saying, well, what if I'm not on Google Meet? What if I what if my meeting is say <laughs> some platform that's not WebEx, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, there is also a hardware-based approach that kind of adds a little bit of additional flexibility. So we call it BYOD mode. And you know, in, in short, you basically have a USB cable that's coming from, for Logitech devices, a rally bar, a rally bar mini that's in the front. You're also gonna have an HDMI cable that's also coming from that as well. And you're just gonna route those to the table. And in BYOD mode, what that allows me or John or any end user to do is walk into that room with our laptop, 
plug in that HDMI cable so that we're having screen sharing and then plug in that USB cable into our laptop so that we have camera control. And so as, uh, as John always says, Logitech and Zoom, we love the, the high quality. I remember you said this on our last call, high quality audio and, and microphone quality. And you're, you're getting that because you're basically using the Logitech camera as an extension um, or as an add-on conference camera. And then you're using the screen as either a duplicative or an extended screen of your laptop. And so this basically allows you to have any platform that you want from your laptop to be both using the conference camera as well as the display that's in there. Um, but something that we also want to talk about and why we have John here as well is that Zoom has a feature that is connected to that BYOD experience um, that is built into the Zoom room itself. John, tell us a little bit about Zoom's BYOD mode. Yeah, sure. So kind of similar to the, you know, the meeting join uh, for, for interop buttons and capabilities, this is a native feature of Zoom Rooms, right? It's not an add-on or anything like that. And so in these scenarios where, you know, users are leveraging, you know, bring your own device uh, styled meeting join, uh, plugging in the cables that we talked about earlier, HDMI and, and USB, um, we've we've kind of enhanced the experience a little bit more. So one of the challenges historically with, with uh, changing a native room system over to you know, a bring your own device uh, mode for, for the system is, you know, as soon as you do that, that the, the, the native system would appear offline. So we have, uh, you know, worked together with Logitech and, and on the Zoom room side uh, to make sure that in that scenario where native Zoom room is temporarily flipped over to BYOD mode, that the system, you know, the Zoom room system actually technically stays online. Um, so that's helpful for admin and reporting and, and whatnot. Um, so it's it's helpful to to keep that state. Um, the other component there is we do right from the Zoom Room controller offer some you know basic uh, control uh, on the camera side. So even when you flip it over to uh, BYOD mode, that um, you still get a little bit of consistency on the room controller, and it's not such a different experience that would impact the user experience. And we promised that there were two and a half ways to enable Interrupt. So just the last piece that's worth mentioning is that we do offer a product from Logitech called Logitech Switch, which is basically a switch. What it basically does is it's going to plug into your room system and it's going to have a single cable solution that's going to have a USB-A on one side as well as a USB-C. Now, before we even talk about the cable itself, it's going to it's going to do something that's pretty key. And that's the reason why we say you can have the best of both worlds here is that you can have your room be provisioned to Zoom. You can have the Logitech Switch device set up in that room and your room will live as a Zoom room um, for every Zoom every Zoom meeting that you're having, you can also use the software-based interop for you know all the Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, WebEx meetings that you're having. But in that rare case that you do need to maybe just project your screen from your laptop immediately while you're in the room, or if you happen to have a meeting that's off one of those platforms, you can just plug the switch in and the room will switch again into BYOD mode, but with a single cable solution rather than having two separate cables. We like this just because not everybody has an HDMI port now, USB-A, USB-C, sometimes it's a little bit different from computer to computer. So this gives you the option of just either USB-A, C, plugging straight in. You don't have to worry about that HDMI cable. It's also going to power your laptop if it's on the USB-C side. And again, it's going to switch the room over to BYOD mode. So just a little plug for Logitech Switch. But that's it for today. John, any last closing pieces you want to mention here before we finish? No, just, you know, again, interoperability is, is uh, super important in, in the modern world. Um, and it's always been, you know, a core component of the Zoom Room solution. Um, so we'll continue to add more and more functionality. Uh, but, you know, the three different options or the two and a half different options we, we spoke of today, um, you know, is just a, another testament to the Zoom and Logitech partnership around how we're taking, you know, the best of Logi hardware together with the Zoom software and, and the Zoom platform and giving options, right? Um, so there's not always one size fits all or one experience that's going to fit every single use case. But the ones we talked about here is how we're making it as simple as possible, both on the administrative side and the user side, you know, to, to leverage all the different functionality of our joint products uh, to join into any meeting platform and make it seamless for the end user. So, you know, I'm really proud of the work that both organizations have done in this area and, uh, you know, more to come with the partnership, of course, we're always evolving together. Awesome. So if you're a customer and you are in BYOD rooms, upgrade yourself into a Zoom room. And if you're in a Zoom room, 
really kind of explore these different opportunities with Interump. But that's it for today. We will see you next time.